Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest today, Jerome Horton. He is the chair of California's Board of Equalization. And sir, when you look at what commentators say about the state of California, in terms of its regulatory environment, the statements are not very positive. Mm -hmm. Forbes in 2012 said, forget about California. We're 40th in terms of regulatory environment. You, though, are looking to change at least some aspects of the regulatory yes. environment in California. Tell us about that, sir. Well, through the Board of Equalization, Brad, starting a business just got easier. Mm. We're looking at improving uh, accessibility to starting a business. You can go to my website. If you're interested in starting a business, we'll take you through the steps. We'll help you through the process in order to get your business open so that you're creating jobs, generating revenue for the state of California as it, soon as possible. It's called E-RAG. E and it is a new program. It and is. literally, it is doing everything it can to try to make it easier to get a business off the ground. It is. Ele electronic registration. You can register from your home. You don't have to go into the Board of Equalization. It's centralized. You can go, go to our website and connect to the Internal Revenue Franchise Tax Board and so forth. At the same time, while commentators will complain about the regulatory environment in California, at a certain level, I think that those commentaries get lu they lump in our taxing situation. Mm -hmm. And if you look at taxes in California compared to other, other states, sta it's yeah. actually in the middle. We are. We, we, are. we are. I mean, if you go to the state of Texas, the property tax is somewhere around 5%. In California, it's 1%. Exactly. Perhaps. And so if you look at California overall, as far as taxes, we're right in the middle. And then you've got to compare California to the rest of the world. This is a global economy. We're in the ninth largest nation well, uh, well, in the world. Right. But why yeah. is it then that you keep hearing the mantra of, we're a high-tax state, when the facts just don't met that out? Well, there is a reality to, to that, and that is the corporate taxes are a little bit higher. If you look at it on balance, we're right in the middle. Well, what about all the but, deductions, R&D deductions? Well, Other states don't have that. The deductions are huge, but they're isolated. You know, the, mm. the R&D deductions for larger corporations, motion picture deductions for the motion picture right. industry. So you're still going to have that category of folks that aren't aware of how good it is in California. But if you look at the reality, California is growing. The number of businesses that are coming to California is significant. Our sales tax revenue is going up, and we're doing everything that we can to help businesses come to California. I want to talk about taxing generally. I know that you have not taken a position on the governor's tax initiative, which will be on the ballot in November. Yes. That being said, we recently had an initiative on the ballot in June, which would have increased taxes on cigarettes by mm -hmm. $1 a pack. As of this taping, it looks like it's going down to defeat. Yes. That is problematic for those that would support the governor's tax initiative. Would you agree, sir? Uh, you know, I would agree uh, that it is problematic because you got folks out there that just don't want to pay any more taxes. And so what they're looking for, I believe, Brad, is for the government to say that we're going to be more efficient that you, the monies that you invest in the government of the state of California is going to be used wisely. We have to answer that question. What else do you make of June's election? It was a very interesting one. We have changed our term limit formula, wow. which was a yeah. big deal. One, Huge. an individual can now serve 12 years in either house instead of six plus eight. Uh, in the Assembly and Senate? Yes. I mean, I think it was huge, Brad. I was caught off guard because uh, candidates that got 60% of the vote, mm -hmm. they still have to run again in November. Well, that, well, that's another issue. That's the issue of the of the open primary. The open primary is, is something else. I mean, so you have to, you the voters are going to get another bite at the apple. Right. The candidate that may have gotten 12% or 15%. If they're the, in the top two. Top two, they're going to get another bite of the apple. And in, all, all of a sudden, the Republicans will be playing in the Democratic races. Democrat will be playing in the Republican races. It's going to be exciting times. And in many seats, you have two Democrats, two Republicans competing against each other. That's exactly. That's when you're going to have to appeal to That's the other side. That's when you have to appeal to the other side. His name is Jerome Horton. He is chair of California's Board of Equalization. I'm Brad Palmer. Thank you so much for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.